Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about inscribed polygons. So what is an inscribed polygon? It is just when all the vertices of the polygon lie on a circle. So if we see in this diagram right here, in the green, uh, green color, that shape, that our polygon is what we would call inscribed because all of its vertices lie on this blue circle right here. So what do we call this circle? We call it a circumscribed circle, okay? So we say that this polygon is within a circumscribed circle. It is inscribed in the circle. All right, so the two specific polygons that we're gonna look at being inscribed are a right triangle and a quadrilateral. So a couple things we need to know about an inscribed right triangle. The first thing is that the hypotenuse of the right triangle is the diameter of the circle, okay? And we can know the converse of that to be true as well. If we are given the diameter of a circle, we know that that is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So since that's the case, the angle that's opposite of the diameter will be the right angle. So we know that angle is going to be 90 degrees. Next, we're gonna talk about inscribed quadrilaterals. And really the only thing we need to know there is that the angles that are opposite of one another need to be supplementary, which just means they add to 180 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna look at one example where we find the value of some variables when we're dealing with an inscribed right triangle, like on example 1A, and an inscribed polygon, or excuse me, an inscribed quadrilateral on example 1B. So for A, we know that since this line right here, then that chord right there goes through the center of the circle and its endpoints are on the circle, that is the diameter of the circle, which means this angle right here is 90 degrees. So we could just set 3x equal to 90, we can divide both sides by three and we get X is equal to 30. All right, and for example 1B, we have a quadrilateral. So we know that these angles that are opposite of one another need to be supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So let's start with angles A and C. All right, so we're gonna say three X plus 111 is equal to 180. So we can subtract 111 from both sides we get 3x equals 69, divide both sides by three, and that's gonna give us x is equal to 23, okay? So that's one of our variables. And now let's look at um, angles B and D. So we can say 65 plus y is equal to 180. Let's subtract 65 from both sides, and we get y is equal to 115. Okay, and that is how we solve some problems with inscribed polygons, specifically an inscribed right triangle and an inscribed quadrilateral.